I believe that populism is a useful term because it helps us understand what is the difference between populism and any other kind of extremism. Populism is a different brand of extremism than any other for two reasons. One is that it, what is specific about it is that it has this cult of the common man which it fosters. So it believes that the people, the man in the street knows better than any kind of experts, any kind of elites as they tend to be called. And that will lead us down toward a slippery slope toward oversimplification. It's not enough just to believe the will of the people if it is uninformed. That is one. The second is the exclusionary principle or approach, which means that you pit the us against the them that you create a difference between an in-group and an out-group. You exclude others by not considering part of the people. As soon as you do that, you are more than extreme. You deny the right of existence or the right of participation to others, be it for their color of skin, their sexuality, their, nation, nation, their nationality or whatever. And it, th this notion of populism helps us to understand that this is a specific and specifically mean type of extremism. The problem with populism is that it erodes liberal democracy and it does so in several ways. It does so first of all by creating a political agenda that is illiberal. It has to do with isolationism both in the political and in the economic sphere. It as we have seen in the political sphere, there have been av populist advocates claiming that we should go out of um, trade agreements, that we should uh, buy American, uh, that we should uh, consider our own country first. This reduces the, the, the possibility of beneficial cooperation between countries. That is one thing. But in the political sphere itself, beyond the economic, the same is true if it comes to dropping out of EU, of the UNESCO, of NATO, all, all these kinds of international cooperation mechanisms which have helped to make this world a better place. So that is dangerous. But populism also fosters a kind of mean and nasty discourse which is divisive, which tends to erode the social capital that we have. And I think it is deeply disrespectful of individuals. Liberalism is a culture of respect for the individual and only on the basis of individualism can you develop universal principles such as liberalism. So it's completely contrary to the idea of free individuals cooperating peacefully in the world.